This is an overview of the DeWalt cutout tool. This is the corded version. Um, they also make a cordless one. So this one is the DeWalt, um, for reference, DW660. Um, it's a 5 amp tool. It, uh, it's pretty spartan. It has this switch here that... It's got a bump switch here for shutting it off it's on so all it has it's not variable speed it's on or off it spins up to 30,000 rpms with no load on it it has this interesting locking mechanism that's pretty cool so you don't need any tools to change bits I'll get to that here in a second it has an enclosed or sealed up um, motor area so when you're cutting drywall it doesn't like get all dusted and gummed up so that's handy. So they really built this tool pretty much for cutting drywall, although it's a rotary tool that can be used for uh, cutting other materials depending on the bit that you have. Um, very similar to, I guess, like a roto, roto zip. I think that's the name of it. Tools like that. There's a couple different versions of these types of tools out there. I just happened to get this DeWalt one because it's a great price. I picked this guy up for, I believe it was 60 Canadian dollars. So it was a good buy. Um, now, when I purchased it, it came with one bit, a drywall bit, um, or a multi-purpose bit, uh, the tool itself, and it came with an extra collet here that allows, right now it's one eighth, so they're standard size bits, but this will allow it to go up to uh, a quarter inch as well, so standard size collets, which is nice. Unlike uh, the Dremel, some Dremel tools like the Dremel Trio would use this, like I think a 316th bit, which was a proprietary thing, which uh, didn't work very well. Okay, so it's got this adjustable depth guide. It's uh, just some stamped sheet metal, not, not uh, nothing to write home about, but it's okay. To change the bits, so you have this locking mechanism here, you could use a wrench on it right here on this nut but they have this locking mechanism here that if you turn to the right you unlock turn to the left it locks so um, just to show you here the bit comes out I had it locked in there pretty good so I had to do it twice and then bring it back over it's in there so that works uh, that works really nice instead of having to look for a wrench and stuff all the time it's really handy the guide also comes off you can plop that off I'm not gonna bother to do that but it's just a snap fit here you just push on this pops off um, yeah that's all that there's to it a nice strong cord it's flexible it's pretty cold out right now but it remains flexible that's a big plus so what to be expected by uh, by a good tool um, it's loud, and uh, I'll just do a test cut here, but I've used it to cut a few materials. Um, I've had experience with this tool already. It's not new to me. I just happened to buy this one, but a, a buddy of mine has one, so I've used this a few times. Cuts drywall. Awesome. Like, there's no tomorrow. Um, I've used it to cut our materials, like I said. Thin plywood is probably about as far as you're going to get. I'm going to cut some Lexan here in a second. Um, you're not going to get any, I wouldn't cut anything thicker than like a quarter of an inch um, plywood. Um, again, also the bits um, in the drywall allows you to do a plunge cut, so that's really nice. So overall, it's just a plain rotary tool, good price, um, lots of power. Um, yeah, so I, I really like it. I've also put a cutting disc on this from a Dremel with larger cutting wheels um, that fit this uh, this collet and it works really well too because it's got a little bit extra power than just a Dremel um, almost kind of like a replacement for uh, what they call um, I forget the name of them but uh, an air tool that they use uh, uh, a die grinder that's it so a die grinder has a longer neck on it and can use uh, different types of bits for grinding into hard to reach areas I think they used to use them to port um, um, heads on a car or something like that but it's great for grinding at stuff too the only problem with a Dremel is it doesn't have as much power this um, tool here 
won't give you the reach, but it'll still give you the power to do um, some cutting if you're cutting through some metal and it's not in an awkward spot because obviously this is a little large, so you're not going to be able to get down onto whatever you're trying to cut. But it does give you a little extra power. Um, even though it uh, it won't get into some small confined spaces. So that's probably not the intended purpose of this tool. I just happen to have tried it and it works uh, really well. Okay, so I'm going to set up some uh, Lexan and just show you how loud it is in a quick cut and, uh, and that'll be it. Alright, I got some Lexan here. I'm just going to do a quick cut across here just to show you the, how loud it is. The cutting, it's like every other rotary tool, it's got plenty of power, it depends on the bit that you use, is how well it will cut. You can also get other bits to do like tile work, um, I don't know, anything you can think of, you can probably get a bit for it. Uh, Alright, hearing protection is a must because it does scream at 30,000 RPMs. Alrighty, so I'm just going to fire it up. So it did a nice cut here, a little, probably because the bit I'm using isn't the best. Um, it did get a little frayed, but as you can see, lots of power. This uh, Lexan, I believe, is an eighth thick, um, one eighth of an inch thick, so uh, it went through it no problem. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this tool. Uh, I really like it, like I said. So um, there's other ones out there. This just happens to be the DeWalt one that I purchased. Uh, to match, I guess, the rest of my, my collection. So, thanks for watching.